Welcome everyone to quadriceps training part one, where we're going to introduce quadriceps anatomy. Let's talk about quads training 101. The first thing you need to understand is like the name quadriceps suggests, we have four parts to the muscle. They all originate on the hip and thigh, and they insert onto your kneecap or patella. First, let's talk about the vastus medialis. That is what's known to many as the teardrop. And obviously, as it shows, it's on the medial side of the thigh. It extends the leg, as in leg extensions and in squats. Then you have the outer sweep, or the outer part of the quad, which we call the vastus lateralis. Its actions are similar to the vastus medialis in that it extends the leg, as in leg extensions and in squats. Now underneath all the quad muscles lies the vastus intermedius. It also extends the leg. And then finally we have that middle aspect of the quads on the upper thigh, which we call the rectus femoris. It actually extends the leg and flexes the hip as in lunges and hanging leg raises. Let's get more in depth into the quad's anatomy. If you look at the vastus lateralis and medialis, again, the outer sweep and the teardrop of the quads, both of them start or originate on the upper thigh bone. The upper thigh bone is, of course, known as the femur. Now, the other muscle that we talked about, the rectus femoris, actually crosses the hip joint, so it originates on the hip. That's important for its function because it means it acts on the hip and the knee. Then the vastus intermedius, remember that muscle that lies underneath the other quads? It also originates on the mid-upper femur or the mid-upper thigh. All of the quadriceps, and this is why they're one muscle, insert into the kneecap via the quadriceps tendon. Let's discuss knee extension. Recall that all the quads have the function of knee extension. What does it mean? It means to straighten the lower leg or extend it further away from the back of the thigh or femur. Exercises that actually include knee extension that are isolation movements include your classic leg extensions as well as things like sissy squats. Now, knee extension can also be a part of compound movements. And when you do compound movements, you're also working at the hip and the knee. This occurs in things like squats and occurs in things like leg press. Let's discuss hip flexion. This means to move the upper leg or the upper thigh closer to your abs. When does this occur? When you do things like hanging leg raises or even when you do lunges. The quads originate on the outer and inner parts of the thigh. So what does that mean? It means they can also rotate the thigh or the knee inwards and outwards. So again, the quads can rotate the knee inwards, which we call medial rotation, or outwards, which we call lateral rotation. Let's summarize this lecture up. The quads can be divided into four heads. The vastus muscles all originate on the femur or thigh bone. Their main action is to extend the leg. The rectus femoris crosses the hip joint and thus can flex the hip and extend the knee. The quads also act to internally and externally rotate the knee.